I'm always bringing this ocean of drama and tragedy, but I am actually a clown. Not many people know about it. My name is God Shifta Farahani, and I'm gonna let Elle ask me anything today. What's the best part about playing Nikon? It's playing for the first time a female warrior that is not a love interest of somebody and she's not in love with somebody. She's just fearless, ruthless, brutal killer. And she's not sexualized. I think this is one of the best things about her. She's an exceptional character we rarely have seen in the history of cinema. I first met Chris Hemsworth in Thailand. Right before the shooting Extraction 1, I went to his room to say hello and talk about what we're gonna do. It was amazing. Wow, meeting Chris is meeting the kindest, most generous man, actor you can ever imagine. So it was very comfortable, amazing. Oh, if Chris Hemsworth comes with a warning label, it's like, be careful, I am the most loving, lovable human being on this planet, so be careful about that because I'm so beautiful inside and out. I care for you, I see you, and I'm very generous, so be careful because you would just melt in front of me. Voila. <laughs> Adam, Adam Bessa. He was the most social person. He has this quality. You know, the British have that. They, they actually, they know how to do it. They make people talk about themselves. They ask questions and everyone feels amazing about having conversations with them. And Adam Bessa, definitely, she, like he's the master of creating conversations with people and make them talk about themselves. And he's quite funny. My favorite memory was the day I was shooting the fight on the train. We trained for two months like athletes and I wanted to do everything myself. I didn't want any stunt to do anything. I had to change three times my underclothing because it, they were soaked wet. I was bruised from shoulder to toe. And at the end of the day, it was like a big celebration that everyone were hugging each other as we achieved something incredible. And that fight is one of the most favorite fights of all our stunt team. I I kept watching it and watching it because I couldn't believe that this is happening. So I'm very proud of it, very proud of it. Extraction 2 will leave you emotionally involved and curious about the characters of this movie, but you will get entertained very much. What actor inspired me growing up? I would say Marlene Dietrich. I think it was her strength, her power, her presence as this non-sexual, some entity between a man and a woman, completely on the contrary of Marilyn Monroe. There was something about her that inspired me very much. And I also, I loved Audrey Hepburn. That sweetness and that pure feminine vulnerability at the same time. But also, I must say that I was very much inspired by Al Pacino and Robert De Nero, Taxi Driver and Scarface. I love their work. Is there a character I miss playing? I would say no. I am so open to whatever this world of cinema is bringing me. I have no desire, no regret. But there is some directors that I would have loved to work with, like Casavets or like Kubrick. Have I ever lost a role? Yes, I have lost two roles that uh, both of them, they really hurt me very badly. One of them was Prince of Persia. It was when the government of Iran took my passport and they didn't let me leave and that led to my exile. It was the most traumatic time of my life. And then the second one, again, it was another movie with Colin Farrell that I supposed to do. I was so looking forward to work with him. And because of uh, President Trump, I have a French passport, but my my visa took much longer than it used to take because I'm born in Iran and I also couldn't make it to that shooting. So two times for political reasons, I lost two roles that maybe I'm not attached to those stories, but the fact that I couldn't go because of politics hurt me very badly. In my next role, I would love to be a mother. I want to be a mother in life. And that would be my next role in life. That's what I want to be and that's what I want to do. <laughs> I would say yes, I'm a double cancer, Ascendant Leo. I am an absolutely 
a mother. I would care for everyone, yes. And I am very domestic at the same time. Nobody can tell. But the things that makes me the happiest is to go and buy zucchini and make food and cookies and feed people. I'm very well and happy inside my house. I'm such an introvert, but yeah. Also an extrovert. And yes, I have that lion that is out here, as you can see, uh, representing extraction. But at the same time, I'm just a domestic mother, I would say. Something that people don't know about me is the ear trick. I have an ear party trick that people, they don't know about. I'm not gonna show you because everybody will know about it, but I have an ear trick and I'm very funny. I'm a clown. Not many people see that clown, but uh, I'm a very, very funny character that can make people laugh a lot. But I'm always bringing this ocean of drama and tragedy, but I am actually a clown. Not many people know about it. Well, I was obsessed with Breaking Bad. I know that it's uh, very late for that and everybody watched it some years ago. But my goodness, when I started watching Breaking Bad, I was moving with my phone on the plane everywhere. I couldn't put it down and I was going crazy because I couldn't sleep, I couldn't eat. And I worked with Brian and I didn't watch Breaking Bad while I was working with him. And when I was watching Breaking Bad, I was like, oh, I missed him. I was in the same room, same scenes I was washing his body and I didn't know he did this so it was such a loss my god the most meaningful compliment as an actor I would say watching this character changed the way I was living that your your art can change somebody's behavior pattern and structure of mind and life. I think that is why we artists are here to inspire people to break out of their comfort zones. And as a human being, that you inspire me to, to push through impossibles, that I could inspire people to believe in their dreams, throwing themselves out into that darkness, knowing that they're gonna land. That is something that I would say it would be a great compliment. Something that I am learning recently is the process of letting go. The process of letting go of control and trusting and not giving up, but letting go. Trying to accept things I can't change and change things that I can change and knowing which one I can change and which one I cannot. So this is something that I'm learning in life. Something that I, makes me feel nostalgic is thinking about my homeland and my country and the pain that this country is going through and the courage that people are having pushing towards freedom. Thinking about home makes me the most nostalgic. The proudest moment of my career is when I'm watching women and men getting inspired to believe that they can do anything. The path I came from, it was kind of an impossibility. I made it through. I did it. I broke out of frames. I didn't become a Middle Eastern actor or a terrorist part or a region. I broke not just out of my country, living the life of exile, but I broke the frames and I became anything and everything. I became a woman from New Jersey in Jim Jarmusch. I became a witch in Pirates. I became an 18th century Spanish woman in Altamira. I became Nikan, which we don't know where she's coming from. She's a villain. We don't even care where she's coming from. I became so many things. And this is something that it makes me proud to make people know that they can be anything and everything. And I am proud of it. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and Elle today. Don't forget to watch Extraction 2 out now on Netflix.